Okay, we're going to take a look at this dramatic footage after a three-year-old boy fell into a gorilla enclosure at a US zoo. And <laughs> Now, that happened at Cincinnati Zoo last weekend, and in order to rescue the child, staff shot the 17-year-old gorilla, who was called Haram, dead. Harame, dead. It has caused anger among animal rights activists, but the zoo have defended their actions and said they would make the same call again. Joining us is the animal rights activist, John Kermode, and from a studio in Washington, the blogger, Matt Walsh. What should happen to the gorilla, Matt? What should have happened to him? Well, the, you know, the fact that we even have to discuss this, the fact that this is, a, that this is an argument shows how far we've fallen as a, as a, as a civilization. When it's, when it's a, a human child versus an ape, um, there's no discussion. You, you kill the ape to save the child. And you don't wait either. You don't, you don't take a chance. You say, well, let's try to preserve both lives. No, you, you preserve the human life. And I don't care if it's one ape. I don't care if it's 50 apes. It doesn't matter how many apes you have to kill. Uh, you, you, you preserve the human life. That should be... That, that's an, an inherent, innate truth that we, should all, that we should all recognize. So you don't give a damn about the ape, do you? No, it's not that I don't care, but once you, once you stack the ape against the child, at that point, the only thing I care about is the child. Look, when I, when I saw that video, as, as we all just watched, uh, I, was, I was terrified. You know, I, I thought, well, what if that was my child? And then when I found out that the child survived and uh, without, with, with only a few injuries, mild injuries... I was filled with, with relief. That was my overriding feeling, was relief. It wasn't, well, I'm relieved, but the ape died. It's no, a child could have been brutally killed, and he wasn't, so I'm relieved. And then as, as, a, as, a, so, as a secondary concern, way down on the list, yeah, it's too bad that the ape had to die, but it's just the way it is. So, John, in other words, there's no contest. There's no decision to make. Kill the ape. Don't take a chance with the child. Well, you know what? This could have been completely preventable, um, Stephen. What I would say to you is, is that I really don't want to be getting into an argument as to who was to blame or whose life was of more importance. What I would say to you is, is this was a the story. It is the story. Is but a human what I want being's wanna... life not more important Absolutely. than an ape's? Well, we should be asking ourselves a question. In this day and age, why are we you know, incarcerating magnificent creatures who in the wild would forage, would roam, would go hunting, but locked up in a concrete prison, everything that is natural to these creatures is taken from them. So I think, if anything, people should be getting horrified by the fact that zoos put the con into conservation. Well, the zoo wrong to shoot the ape? What I would say to you is, in this situation, the zoo probably made the right call, considering the situation. What I would say to you is, lessons need to be learned here. I think going forward, zoos all over the world should be looking at their enclosures. And I think more than anything else, zoos here in Ireland should be absolutely, you know, reducing their breeding programs. And if anything, like SeaWorld, getting rid of their shows going forward. Let's see, because so many of you know this, we'll talk about this. Go ahead. Uh, well, I just think that the fact that it's an ape carrying a small child, they said the reports that the ape has 10 times the strength of an average human, it could have ripped the child from limb to limb. We could be sitting here discussing a video about a dead child rather than a dead ape. I just don't see why animal rights is such a big issue when it comes to that, especially against a human's life. And the young lady here, go ahead. Yeah, I totally disagree with the guy in the video because by definition a zoo is meant to protect animals and a <coughs> gorilla was faced with this young child coming into his enclosure, his home and animals are naturally inquisitive and they're going to be curious as to what it is but that was no fault of the gorilla. Well, why don't you talk to Matt, Matt our, 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 our guest in the audience here uh, disagrees with her, her, her point, you might have heard it there, is that zoos are there to protect animals, not kill them. Yeah, of course, that's the function of zoos, and I, and I happen to think, you know, it's, it's easy to say, well, zoos shouldn't exist, but I think zoos perform a, a great service by preserving a lot, of these, uh, a lot of these species and also giving people a chance to learn about them. But, it, you know, in a rare occasion, something like, like this happens and you have to respond to it. I think to say it's not the gorilla's fault, of course it's not the gorilla's fault. He's an ape. He doesn't understand what he's doing. But does that mean that you actually, and I want to ask the, the, um, the lady in the audience, would you actually take a chance with this human child's life because you're worried about the ape? Would you actually It wasn't stop, me. You took the chance. It was their parents because they weren't supervising them at all. So, okay, so, so, the, so the child's out of luck? So you're saying the child should... So just 
let the child die then, because it, it happened and so we should just let him die. We should choose the ape's life over the human child. Ma'am, I think that that is not only um, a, a wrong position, but it's depraved and it's wicked. No, to, I, to agree place that a human, I agree that the safety of the child is paramount. However, I think they could have um, sought an alternative method before shooting the gorilla who was the innocent victim of the situation. Okay, so, you, so I can't you've, be you've gone beyond this, Matt, haven't you? You've said publicly, you've said that you'd kill a, a million apes rather than take well, the life, or, uh, or rather than risk the life of that child. Yeah, I mean, of course, I don't, I don't think a situation would ever occur where you'd have to kill a million apes. I don't think a million even exists at this point. But, but the point is that... Clever that American this, dick. Yeah, well, this is, the, the principle is that human life is infinitely more valuable than animal life. And that animal rights are always subjugated the, under human rights. By the way, can I, so, can I just uh, try to explain what I was trying to say there? It's late at night. I was trying to say, though, you clever dick. I didn't mean you clever American dick, just, just for the record. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that bad, man. Right. Uh, Lily here, go ahead. I just think the onus is really with the parents here. Um, I've actually looked into this and it was a 12 foot drop. Like if I was at a zoo and I had any children with me, I would be keeping them well back from a 12 yeah, foot drop, regardless of the gorilla. But it's not easy to say with the benefit of hindsight and then how many parents might have taken their eye off a child for a few seconds and you know, that's what can happen in a few seconds, isn't it? It is, absolutely, but I just think that it's unfair that the gorilla had to die because of this. It was a beautiful creature and there is there has footage been released of the gorilla holding hands with the boy and trying to protect yeah. him. Is it, is it possible, John, that that gorilla was actually trying to protect that child? Well, you know, after all, the outcry uh, initially when, when people were pinning the blame on the gorilla and saying that it was right to kill this creature, now footage is surfacing online that shows that in very much uh, Haram was trying to protect the kid. Uh, if I, I'm just, I, it's a pity that this footage didn't go on a little bit longer. You could clearly see he was trying to hold the kid's hand. And in the wild, gorillas, Western lowland gorillas, they're a very timid creature, believe it or not, for their size. Um, and they're not known to be uh, You're shaking your head, man. Book. Yeah, I mean, come on. Look, look, we've all seen too many Disney movies where we think that the, the, what, the, the, the gorilla came over, is holding hands. With, are they going to break out into a, into a musical number and start singing like a Disney movie? This is ridiculous. I mean, we, we, saw, we saw the gorilla. The, the gorilla was dragging the child by his leg through the water. I mean, the, the, the kid could have hit his, could have hit his head in, on the concrete. And I want, I want us to run the footage second. again of, of what we have just so we can all uh, take this in again. Let's have a look at this all together uh, again. You talk me through what, what you see here, John. Well, I suppose initially what Haram is doing is probably what he would do with his young in the wild. You can clearly tell he's holding the little kid's hand at the minute. He's clearly confused by what's going on, if you're looking, with all the, the gawkers, the screaming people. <coughs> what he's doing right now, he's clearly um, phased by what's going on. This creature is scared. Can I just put things into perspective here, Stephen, for a minute? We've heard by um, one of your audience uh, guests talking about zoos um, and their purported uh, conservation. Well, let me set the record straight here for a lot of your listeners, because up until this point, <coughs> groups like Aaron were told to stay in our corner that we did not really know what we were on about when it came to animals in zoos. But what I would say to you is, is that zoos, by their very nature, are set up in busy cities. The animals, I call them collections of animals, if anything, most of them are not endangered, and zoos play very, very little um, uh, part in true conservation. As a matter of fact, uh, the, the, the zoo in London spent over £5 million on a gorilla enclosure with just three gorillas in it. This comes at a time when anti-poaching patrols are needing money in the likes of the Congo and Rwanda. <coughs> They're You're going more. off the story here, I'm not you? actually, because I'm going oh. back to the very setup of what zoos are, and I'm glad that at this stage okay. we're, now being able, we're now able to question the, okay. the validity of such a... Young man up here, back. Go ahead. Uh, going back to the thing about uh, mistakes can happen when you're looking after your child, supposedly witness reports say that um, the child was asking to go into the uh, place with the gorillas. Um, I'm not a great parent myself now, but if my child was asking to go into that place... Are you a place, parent? You look about no. 12. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, if, if, if I had a theoretical child who wanted to go and... Uh, <laughs> And, uh, uh, an enclosure so you've gone from gorillas. you're not a great parent to you're not a parent. <laughs> I'm not a parent at all. But, but, but if I have a spherical child that's asking me, right, I have a zoo, and the child has asked me to go under the uh, enclosure with the gorillas, I think I might have my eye on my child who wants to go under the enclosure with gorillas. 
Does that not make sense to you? Well, we'll soon find out when you're a daddy, won't we? <laughs> There's a serious issue here that, that, that John Matt is trying to bring up, which is these gorillas, they shouldn't be in captivity in the first place. Absolutely. Well, I think that's a, really a separate issue entirely. We could debate that. Um, I, I happen to disagree. I, th I know it's easy to dump on zoos, but like I said, I think they preserve the species. And not only that, but as, as, this, as the more superior creatures on the earth, human beings, I think the fact that these animals provide us with a chance to you know, learn something, to, to find joy and wonder in, in observing these animals, um, I think that that's a noble purpose that the animals serve. But that's, that's besides the point. I, I think the greater issue is that, you know, we have people in the world, in, in Western civilization, who clearly care more for animal life than human life, which is why you, and, I, and look, I, it's fine if people are animal rights activists, but we're going on about animals in captivity. Is that really the most important thing in the world when there are, when there are human beings uh, suffering and being, and, and being killed all across the world? And then, and then this kind of thing happens, well, and we actually have to debate whether or not you should save the ape over the child. Daniel Barkley, just... you're another animal rights activist. He said it's not a debate. There's no debate in this. Um, well, Matt said at the start that it, you know, it's uh, indicative of how much we've fallen as a species to that we care more for animal rights, uh, but I think it's uh, more indicative of how we've, we're stunted as a species that we have to you know, keep them captive uh, for our own benefit. They don't, um, they don't conserve species, they conserve species in captivity, so it's completely you know, redundant. That, you know, um, okay, that, look, well, so I want to say that the call here, the campaign is for justice for Harambe, um, so it's not, all these things could have been avoided uh, at various stages. Uh, we should be looking, people are blaming the parents, people are blaming the gorilla, but if that boy had fallen and had died as a result of the fall, the zoo would have been prosecuted. So this animal has died, it's been shot, All right. killed, they, the zoo are responsible to okay. get justice, you prosecute the zoo. Member of the audience. Go ahead. Hi, um, first of all, I think it's, it was really, really sad that the gorilla had to be killed, but I can see at the time that the zoo's priority was the child safety. Yeah. Um, my question lies with a few other audience members. Where was the parents? And I think that they hold full responsibility for this sad incident. But none of us were there, were we? And you start blaming the parents, and where does it go? Guy here, very quickly. I think John made a good point. Zoos should look at their enclosures. It should never happen again. It was tragic. All life is important. But the parents take a certain amount of blame. And okay, so does the zoo. Just come in finally, Steve, so on that. Very, just, you think, absolutely, 10 seconds, absolutely. right? Throwing you out. I think this could be easily settled if we could understand the true language of gorillas and wildlife, because I think we would hang our heads in shame that we've exploited these magnificent creatures and incarcerated them in okay. glass concrete enclosures. Thank you. Matt, where about you in America tonight? I'm in Washington, D.C. Good stuff. Good part of America. Thank you for joining us all the way from there. We, we thank you, sir. Give our guests a round of applause. Thank you.